tourism is one of the key sectors that could drive Myanmar growth, the goal of this master plan is to maximize tourism's contribution to national employment and income generation while ensuring the social and economic benefits of tourism are distributed equitably. Uh, the, the focus is going to be a very uh, well-known destination in the world. Mm -hmm. This is the main focus, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And also the mission, our mission, yes. is we intend to use tourism to make Myanmar uh, better uh, destination for the people mm -hmm. to live in mm -hmm. you know in terms of when the tourism is developed mm -hmm. uh, we all can get such kind of the opportunities mm -hmm. from it then another way is and then on the on the other side when you're looking to the visitors they also we want them to stay enjoyable and also they have to to respect the country. So this is the mission that we are doing. Key objectives of the plan are divided into six categories, namely strengthened institutional environment, build human resource capacity and promote service quality, strengthen safeguards and procedures for destination planning and management, develop quality products and services, improve connectivity and tourism infrastructure, and build the image, position, and brand of tourism of Myanmar. The master plan has set a high target of 3.01 million international visitors in 2015 and 7.48 million in 2020. Tourism receipts are projected to increase from a baseline of 534 million US dollars in 2012 to 10.18 billion US dollars in 2020, with the corresponding number of tourism related jobs rising from almost 300,000 to 1.49 million. However, the minister pointed out that there could be some uncontrollable factors that could bring down tourism growth, such as a climate change, security concern, and communicable disease. To ensure that this growth is managed responsibly for the benefits of all of Myanmar's people, the master plan includes 38 projects with an indicative cost of almost 500 million US dollars. 21 of these projects with an indicative cost of over 200 million US dollars are critical to the successful implementation of the master plan. The master plan, which is funded by the government of Norway, recommends building tourism-related human resources by strengthening the tourism education and training system and identifies 44.5 million US dollars in new opportunities and partnerships aimed at training tourism workers. According to the Asian Development Bank, projects focus on expanding international air arrivals in Mandalay and Napirol, undertaking improvements to the Bugan River Pier to support more cruises and building feeder roads in destinations like Napoli Beach and Ille Lake. Myanmar's 1993 tourism law will be reviewed and updated to streamline licensing formalities for hotels, restaurants, tour operators and tour guides as well as to amend sections governing regulations around the gaming subsector, labor and establishment of outbound tour operations for Myanmar citizens. The master plan suggests establishing a tourism executive coordination board shared at the vice president level to draw the various tourism related ministries, agencies and federations together under a single umbrella. The plan also outlines the needs for new tourist police divisions to be set up not only to safeguard tourists but to prevent child trafficking and sex tourism. It suggests new tourism initiatives be introduced to ethnic communities using pilot community-based tourism projects that ensure local people are prepared to handle an influx of visitors and maintain control over tourism in their communities. You see, by nature, tourism has a ripple effect. If the people come, they will spend the money. The more they stay, you know, the more you get the income, which is the hard currency. Uh, meaning it can support the development of, of the community and also it can support the, the way the, what we call the living standard of the people. So when, where, wherever you do, tourism can give a lot of uh, impacts on the development of the community. Say today 
the popular uh, words is poverty alleviation. Mm -hmm. Tourism can do a lot of things, but you you should aware of the carrying capacity. You should aware of the of the culture and nature. Are we time we sang for me and my focus daily?